During the first half of this century, mental hospitals tried to use medical treatments for people with severe mental disorders. However, the medical procedures used were crude, largely ineffective, and often unintentionally cruel. Some of the leading approaches are shown in this segment. A popular technique was hydrotherapy, in which patients were sprayed by water in order to stimulate them. The wet pack consisted of packing, that is wrapping, patients in wet sheets. This next procedure, the continuous bath, was kept at 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Its aim was to sedate patients. Hot boxes and lamps were used in order to help relax patients. A predecessor to electroconvulsive therapy was insulin therapy, although this approach was more dangerous and less effective than ECT has since become. Insulin therapy was developed by Viennese physician Manfred Sackel. It was used primarily on patients with schizophrenia. The idea was to give patients insulin, which would make their blood sugar drop. The patient would then slip into a coma and most importantly would experience a convulsive reaction. One form of reaction brought about by insulin therapy was called wet shock because it included profuse sweating and drooling as seen here. Another reaction brought on by insulin therapy was so-called dry shock involving a full brain seizure. Glucose given by nasal tube or by injection was needed to bring patients out of their insulin-induced coma. Metrazole therapy, an intravenous injection of metrazole on patients, again primarily with schizophrenia, was another form of convulsive therapy that was used prior to ECT or electroconvulsive therapy. It was developed by Hungarian physician Vanislav Maduna, and the intravenous injection of metrazole typically produced grand mal type seizure. Finally, one of the most notorious of all early procedures was the lobotomy, a brain operation in which a surgeon would cut the connections between the cortex of the brain's frontal lobes and the lower centers of the brain.